Hey guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and I thought today we would do something a little bit silly and fun and that's just take a look at five fish that have exceptionally grumpy faces and for some reason I find this to be super endearing. So let's start with number five, the Scarlet Gobi. These guys are a really cool fish. They, they cost about $90 a pair. Super breedable, absolutely gorgeous, but need a bit of a specialized environment. I think that they are without a doubt adorable and certainly have that grumpy face that I really love. Number four is my betta, Sid Ficious. There's something about that downturned pout that I just find absolutely adorable. Bettas are one of the most abused and common fish in our hobby, and they can be super rewarding if housed properly. Take a look at my betta care video if you have any questions about that. Number three is Poisilicherax Weitzmanai, the black darter tetra. Now this is a fish that's a real sleeper. When you see them at a store or if you purchase them online, they're largely gray and not all that exciting to look at. But when you put them in a really mature aquarium with lots of hiding places and give them some good food, look how they color up. The males have the most adorable little downturned sulky pout that I just adore. Number two is my Alto Lamprologus Compressiceps species Sumbu Shell. The only reason I bought these fish was because of that grumpy, grumpy face. They're really starting to color up and become a very beautiful fish, and I can't wait to breed these guys and share that experience with you. Make sure you're subscribed and have that notification bell on so you don't miss any of these upcoming videos. And of course, number one, the ultimate pout, the ultimate cranky pants is my pet wild oscar now we know that captain's been having some health issues and he's over 12 years old but there's still nothing as impressive as his ugly mug i hope you guys have enjoyed this silly video today as always let me know down in the comments section what you guys would like to see in the upcoming weeks we still have a lot to do to finish um, getting things ready for winter out in the greenhouse as well as in my bog and succulent gardens. And I have a bunch of neat fish starting to come in here soon.